Actually, everything belongs to Krishna. Yes. But he says, I, mine, is deluded. Janasya mohayam aham mameti. This is moha. And because of this moha, delusion, one suffers here. One suffers here in this material world. Life after life. Because of this moha, delusion. That teaching has been given in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. You understand? Huh? That teaching has been given in Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna just played the part of a deluded person. He played the part. He is not really deluded. He played the part of the person of a played such a role to teach us. You understand? Bhakta and Bhagavan. Mm, dear devotee. Arjuna is a very dear devotee of Krishna. So both Bhakta and Bhagavan, devotee and Supreme Lord, they taught us. They played such roles. Ah, Arjuna said, Oh, my kith and kin, my relatives, my friends, my superiors, gurus, up on the side. Oh, how can I kill them? How can I fight against them? Ah, yes. Do you understand? I cannot, I cannot. Just to think of this thing, oh, to kill them, to fight against them, to kill them, <coughs> my whole body now is burning. Do you understand? My head reels. My head reels. I can stand up, I cannot hold this Gandiva bow. Gandiva Sansatya Stattva Parida Yate. He says this thing. Oh, my friend Krishna, my head reels. The Gandiva bow is slipping up my hand. I can stand up. My whole body is burning now. How can I fight? My own teeth and teeth, blood relations, bodily relations. This I and mine. This is more. Isn't it? This is more. This is out of this delusion. He became so weak, such a great warrior. Huh? Became so weak, so soft. Then Krishna taught. No, everything belongs to him. Aham sarvasya prabhavamatta sarvam prabhavatati iti matva avdhanti mang budhava avasnamita. Everything belongs to me. I am the source of all emanation. Everything has emanated from me. Whatever you see here, that's my property. That's my property. One who has property is a proprietor. Everything is Krishna's property. Krishna is the only proprietor. Isha Vasya Idam Sarvam. Upanishad says. Everything belongs to Isha. Everything belongs to Supreme Lord. Whatever you see or find here. Everything, his property is the only proprietor. But Jiva says, out of delusion says, I am proprietor, this is my property. It's out of delusion only. Actually, Krishna is the only proprietor, so proprietor. Even Jiva doesn't belong to himself. Here Prabhupada Maharaj says, even his body belongs to Supreme Lord. Yes. A devotee knows very well that everything, even his body belongs to the Supreme Lord. Yes. Does your body belong to you? Have you any huh, control over your body or a proprietorship over your body? Huh? If you have any control over a body or proprietorship, how, why can't you keep up your body? Why it becomes old? Why it becomes diseased? Why it at last dies? Why it so? If you are proprietor, if you are possessor of the body, if you are controller of the body, if you have any proprietorship of the body, no. Krishna is the only proprietor. The body is his property. Krishna's property. So this body is meant for the service of Krishna. Not for your own service. For your own enjoyment. Bodily enjoyment, bodily comfort. Sense enjoyment. Do you understand? No. To give enjoyment to Krishna. This is the definition of bhakti. Through your body, through your senses, 
सब ऋषिकेश विद मास्टर ऑफ द बॉडी एंड सेंसेस दैट इज ऋषिकेश दैट इज भक्ति एंगेज योर सेल्फ ऑल बॉडी ऑल द सेंसेस इन द सर्विस ऑफ ऋषिकेश कृष्ण दैट इज भक्ति बिकॉज इट इज हिज प्रॉपर्टी एंड इज एंजॉयर टू गिव एंजॉयमेंट थ्रू योर बॉडी थ्रू योर सेंसेस You are not enjoy. This one is only enjoy. A devotee knows it very well. One who is completely Krishna conscious, but developed complete Krishna consciousness. Only he knows this thing. Nobody knows this thing. A deluded person, a conditioned soul, but developed eye and mind, he cannot understand this thing. Therefore, he suffers because of his delusion. He suffers.